George, you've had a lot of patience to do and wait 10 weeks out. How good did it feel to be back? Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Um, that's only about 40, 15 weeks with the weekends off and stuff. But no, no, it's been a, it's been a long old road and uh, it's been a long old slog uh, getting flogged in the training session and being a tackle shield. And, so, but it's just good to get back. And yesterday I came here to do team run at Hudson and um, I, I want a bag of nerves to be honest. It's like I've forgotten how to play all together. And uh, no, but I got through it and uh, John put me out there and I just wanted to get that first contact, initial contact and run with ball. And yeah, it all went well. And, Full credit to the lads, I thought we played really well in that first half especially. Talk us through your emotions, you come on, you take Tom Doyle off, the cheer goes up, the fans are chanting your name. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's good, it's good, it really is. It's uh, Like I say, it's been a it's been a tough old long road this one, because I know that's uh, a lot of stuff has gone on behind the scenes and stuff, and uh, I don't want to dwell too much on it, this past is the past, and I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much looking forward to what I can contribute to the team and uh, this club going forward and you know there's about 10 or 11 games left and I just want to contribute as much as I can and uh, hopefully I'll give myself a little bit of just to get out there today for a half hour stint. Just what has happened George, I know we don't want to talk too much about the past but just how tough has it been for you mentally with everything that? Oh it's massive, it's, it's massive Mick and uh, like I say I don't want to do it too much because that first three or four week when it did happen when I, it come about and yeah, it's all met pieces of the stuff seen affecting family members and stuff. So yeah, that affected me massively and uh, but I can't fault this club. Uh, John, Mark Dunning, Matt right to Nigel Wood, you know, they, they could have easily uh, thrown the P forty five at me and uh, said good riddance, but no, they stuck by me and <coughs> and I can't fault them. They've absolutely been tremendous with me like uh spoke to Simon midweek about it and you know the, the club have been absolutely tremendous with me, they've uh, fully supported me and I've got a, a great family who uh, I love my place to pieces and I love them, so it's, it's been good, it's been tough, but it's been good. A good day overall, George, because obviously Batley were third, Bradford fourth, Bradford now have got third again ahead of the Batley in the chasing pack, and obviously Batley being one of your former clubs, you had a couple of spells there, so that must have uh, yeah. added to the class <laughs> on the cake. Yeah, yeah, I've, uh, I've got a lot of, lot of time for Batley, and it's a, it's a great family run club, you know, and me and John were there together, and we had some good times there, and Kevin Nicker the ones that he's he does, he does great stuff for the club and some of the boys who, who play for Batley as well, they're a, good, they're, a good boot, they're a good bunch but we know we're going to be tough and know we're going to be physical and Batley one of them teams where they never go away and <clears throat> I think there's a lot of teams like that but Batley especially, they've got that DNA in them where they've just got that dogged spirit where you know they don't go away and I thought they, I thought they showed that today especially in that second half and we invited them a little bit. And, uh, but yeah, credit to the lads. We've not look, we're sitting high in third place uh, behind the, the, the Toulouse and Featherstone. So we'll take that halfway through the season. Now we'll kick on for uh, back in the season. I don't know if we can uh, submit that third place. John mentioned the double impact, not just George Flanagan returning, but also Tom Doyle. That really did speed up that rock and cause Batley no end of problems. Yeah, yeah, Doyle has been tremendous, hasn't he? He's absolutely been a, 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 re a reservation to this team. and. Uh, I thought Keyes had controlled us really well. Uh, Joe Keyes came in today and I thought he, he controlled it. John was missing Ruffy and he's come in and, and controlled <coughs> that, uh, that ball stuff with, uh, with Jordy uh, and pick out the back. So, yeah, it's, Doyle is, 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 is a class lad and you know, he's, I, I was shouting on the bench when that gaff opened up under the post. Get under with Doyle, get under him. He, he, he's, he's a smart player now and uh, he's, he's really coming of age and uh, full credit to him. And obviously after the back of those two successive defeats, George, really important that John and the fans saw the responses after me. Yeah, it's massive, you know, we fall for wagon a little bit and uh, you know, obviously against Ferguson and, and Widness and you know, they're the teams that are going to be in and around us coming at the end of the year, so we need to be doing and knocking them teams off and like John said, if he'd have took that uh, scoreline before the game, he'd have been well happy with that. So, you know, we, we're sitting high in third place and we've just got to kick on now and uh, build that momentum as we're going on and make this a fortress for anybody coming in. Is it too early to think about you personally, George, and, and your future moving forward? Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. Uh, I've been out for 40, 50 weeks, so I've got to show my show my worth in the next what, 10, 11 weeks or whatever it is, and uh, hopefully we can sit down together and have a chat and see where it goes. Do you feel good that you'd like to continue with the oh. opportunity arose? Oh yeah, without a doubt. And uh, like I said, I don't, I don't want to make no secret of it. I want to finish my career here and that's, that's top and bottom of it. I love working with John and Mark Dunning, the great, <coughs> great coaches and the lads themselves. Seeing that not only me and rugby mates, but some of my best mates. So I'm enjoying my time. 
I said I'll go into the size and see what uh, see what pressure I can get. <laughs> and as you say, George, Jones, for yourself, the season starts now, doesn't it? Really, you've got half a season left. Yeah. So much to play for, personally, as much as for the team. Oh, massively, yeah. And like I said, uh, they've shown that much faith in me in the past and what's happened, and <clears throat> me trying to repay that faith and giving me all. I'm a player who goes out there and gives it 110 percent, whether. You know, we're defending or attacking. Also, I love attacking, but uh, you got to uh, support them. You know, celebrate them defensive wins as well. And I just want to go out and give anything for this club. I love the club, and uh, I love playing for this uh, this set of players as well. And if someone had said, "Look, you're going to have this long suspension, but when you come back, the balls are going to be in third place after a season," like, you you know, it, it's not the worst place to come back to, is it? No, no, it's not. And uh, you know, you got to commend the players for what they've uh, you know, they've been through adversity through this year. Um, and I thought they've, they've, they've come up trumps and you know, some of the performances they've, they've put in, uh, especially when we went on that uh, six or seven uh, winning streak, I thought the, the performances were outstanding. Obviously we've had a bit of a blip in the last two weeks, but now we've got that good result of beating teams in and around us, and Batley's one of them, so we've chalked them off now, and it's a matter of just looking at Oldham next week and uh, chalking them off as well. Because of course Oldham will look at you as a target, won't they? They'll think, hang on, you know, Bradford are going well, let's raise our game. And... Yeah, and I think that, I just don't think that's all of them. I think that's for everyone who comes here. They want to knock us off as perch. And, um, you know, all of them in a team where we went there last year. And I think we really, really struggled. And, and you know, we, we, we went into that game thinking, oh, it's going to be an easy game. And it's not, never an easy game in the championship, no matter, you know, no matter who you're coming up against. And if we turn up with a mentality where it's going to be an easy game, you can get your bum smacked. And, uh, you know, hopefully. <laughs> we'll have a good week this week and uh, a really good positive week and we can kick on and uh, give them a good game on Sunday. Without well, getting too, too far ahead of ourselves, I mean, you look at the top two and as you say, you know, lots to lose and feathers from there. Can you, you know, realistically look to bridge that gap at any point in terms of performance, you know, when you play these teams? Yeah, I'd like to think so. I'd like to think so. Some of the players we've got here, I think we, we could do a job on, on one of them if, you know, if we turn up and with the right attitude and the right mentality and. John gets John gets us fired up against the Feathers in order to lose, you know. All can happen. I mean, I, I won't part of the game uh, where Bradford was stuck, uh, odds were stacked against him when they went to Toulouse the other year. Yeah. You know, Mick got eaten his chips at 45 degrees or whatever. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, we were stacked, odds were stacked against us and we went over there and we got the win. So, you know, like I say, this championship, it's, it's an open. Anyone can beat anybody on the day. And if we turn up with the, the right attitude, and I'm sure we can give them a good game.